guys, it's Tracy. I'm here with my good friend, Amber Chris, and we're here today to talk about Amber and all of her awesomeness. So I met Amber last year um, through Marie Forleo's Rich, Happy, and Hot B School, which uh, I'm sure you also heard me talk about. I'm a huge fan of Marie and Laura and all they have to offer. But one of the benefits is meeting all these awesome people, and Amber is one of them. So, Amber, why don't you introduce yourself? Awesome. Well, thank you so much, first of all, for doing this. I'm really happy to be here and be sharing about Body Heart um, with your viewers and your peeps. Um, you know, I have so... You're one of my favorite people through, that I've met through B-School. You're one of my favorites, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, seriously, though, they're, they're uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to start right in with the necklace. Like, we, uh, Tracy designed this necklace for, for Body Heart. That never would have happened without knowing you. And it's such a beautiful reminder for women. And here, I'm I talking love about. I have on, by the way. Yay. It's with my own necklace. I wear them together. Lovely. I love it. Um, <laughs> I love it, too. Uh, and here I'm talking about the necklace. I was just super excited before. People are probably like, what the heck is Body Heart? So yeah. I'll just share a little bit about Tell that. Tell what Body Heart is. Exactly. And what was your motivation in launching Body Heart, which is another important thing, right? Yeah. So, so Body Heart is a company that's designed to liberate women from their body punishment prison. Uh, and we also, I also work with men as well because, you know, they receive messages all the time about how their bodies are supposed to look and how their bodies aren't good enough. So, so for me, uh, my motivation was, was truly freedom. Like I, I experienced it myself. I grew up as a dancer and an actress and really struggled to make my body look a certain way. I, I mean, I did like every diet imaginable. I did like cellulite treatment on my legs. I, I looked for the, the magic pill, you know? <laughs> what was that? I said, I feel like we've all done it. Like, yeah, like, you know, but just like looking. For ourselves that it's something we're not. Exactly. And I finally got down to, I'm probably, the weight that I tend to be at right now is about 130. Uh, but I got down to 113 pounds, which is quite a lot for a, a small, you know, small person. And what I realized, even when I got to that tiny, tiny weight was it still wasn't enough. I was still thinking, how can I be smaller? How can I, how can I change my body? How can I be this perfect thing? And, and I finally just sat with myself and thought, how, when is, how small do I have to be in order for it to be enough? You know? Right. And I was like, yeah. it's not about the weight. Like what really is it? And so I, I went on this year long journey to find to see if I could love my skin, this body, the one that I have. And I got there and my mission is truly to free others from that same imprisonment. I think it's so, such a powerful message and look at you and how gorgeous you are just as you are you. and just such an amazing person. And I'm just going to share a little personal story with you right here is Amber hosts these photo shoots. And when she was in New York, she's in LA and I'm in New York and she was in New York in October. She got me to take all of my clothes off with the exception of my, my boy shorts. And I took pictures of my bootay and uh, my naked back, which is like such a stretch for me. Uh, there were literally 30 people in the room who all just saw my naked ass. So, wow, like really powerful. And just the whole, the whole experience was amazing. So on a sidebar, if you ever have a chance to participate in one of her photo shoots, highly recommend it. Thank you. Yeah, so my so, next question for you is, oh, sorry. That's what I was just going to say that that's for the campaign. And the campaign, what we do is, you know, I wanted women to start thinking about what they loved about their body instead of what they hated. Uh, and, and this was one way to do that. And it also, all of the images are completely unretouched, as you know. Yes, uh, I know. <laughs> so, but it's just, know. <laughs> yeah, but it's to show how beautiful we are already. And the images are gorgeous, you know, yeah. uh, what we focus on expands. So the more that we see that we love, the more we'll notice what we love. Uh, and I'm just going to say for all the men who are out there listening, I'm going to talk, I'm going to say women, I'm going to say she, I'm going to say her a lot. And it doesn't mean that I, I don't love men and I don't work with men. It just means I'm a woman and that's kind of where I'm coming from. And that's, my main audience, but please know you're accepted and embraced in this community as well. Okay. We love men. We heart men too. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, my next question is what is healthy and happy to you? Mm, to me, healthy and happy really comes from the inside. It starts from, um, 
like a centered place. I always find it around my heart. Um, and it's, uh, I find that for me, I have found that when happiness comes first, health tends to very easily follow. Uh, I make joy a priority in my life. And, you know, I say that because, you know, most people when, like, let's say you go on vacation, right? You go on vacation. While you're on vacation, you're like, I'm going to eat whatever I want. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm just going to let myself be. And how many times have you done that? And you've actually lost weight, right? right? You come back and you're like, I ate all of that and I drank all of that and I'm still fine. Like I actually lost five pounds. And it's because, yeah, and I think it has a lot to do with relaxation, A, you're not stressed and in the junk of your life, but the other is you're having fun, you know, yes. and, and when you're having fun and when you're happy, you're actually in tune to what your body needs. So, and life is about having fun, right? Ex and being we're, happy. Exactly. We're only here this for, should be. <laughs> exactly. We're only here for a short amount of time. Right. Yeah. So I want to hear about your body heart boot camp. Tell me about oh, it, sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh, the, the boot camp, it's an online program. It's eight weeks, and it is truly a magical, transformational experience. It's for anyone who is tired of feeling like they have to be thinner in order to have that guy or get that job or be more successful. It's for anyone who constantly beats themselves up about their body or compares themselves to other women or men. Um, has anxiety around food and makes food the enemy. Like I, I, I was inside of it for so long and I basically took everything that I did to find peace and compassion and acceptance and love and celebration of this body. I put it into this course and I'm offering it to, to women. It's, it's more like a compassion camp than a boot camp. It's not like your standard, it. but yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not your standard. Like, let me get my sweat on. It's really, yeah, it. it's about how you want to be in this body with your body, how you want your life to be. It goes way beyond just diet and exercise. It's deep, man. Cause you're deep. You're so cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So really quick thing. I want to hear, um, or I know about the I Commit uh, and I'm willing pledge, but I would love for you to just say a few words about that so maybe some people will commit. To yeah. Uh, well, one of, one, of the, one of my missions is to create an environment of compassion and acceptance where everyone is welcome, all sizes, shapes. You know, I feel like we live in a world that that's really values comparison and competition. And it's all about, you know, we identify with, oh, she's smaller than me or she's bigger than me or uh, like it's tall versus short or pretty versus ugly or fat versus thin or, you know, and, and really health uh, comes in all shapes and sizes. So, so one of the ways that I'm committed to creating that environment is I created what I call the, the I'm willing pledge. And, uh, it's just something, it's so simple. It's where people can go and declare in a public place, a public, a public venue that they commit to being kinder to their body this year. And one, they, one way they plan to do that is, and then they share it. And I, I love it because it gets you thinking about your body and how to better take care of it. It gives you a moment to really think about how hard you are on your body and, and maybe put a little bit of an end to that, you know. And it also, by, by declaring it in a public place, you're more likely to keep it. It holds you more accountable. And it also inspires others. So if someone else is struggling, they can go onto that site and they can read through the comments or they can watch those videos uh, and see what did, what did other people commit to. Uh, because I do believe that kindness expands. You know, if we, if that little bit of kindness that you give to yourself and then that's like this much and then I add in mine and that's like that much and pretty soon there's a lot more kindness in the world. Oh, a lot of kindness. Right? Like yeah. But it's just, it's like the law of attraction, which you focus on expands. So if you're focusing on what you love, right, more of that comes in. Exactly. Love it. Love it. Amber, it's been so amazing talking with you today. Thank you so much for chatting. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, well, just thank you. Thank you of so course. much for this opportunity. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for my maids and necklace. I love the necklace. Yeah. You guys need to pop on over on her website and check this out. It's a I Heart My Body necklace. It's so awesome. 
with this cute little, I'm holding the wrong one, if, you probably can't see it on Skype, but this cute little cutout heart, which is her logo, which is yeah. like so amazing. It was such a fun project to work Yay. on. So I'm grateful for you for yeah. having to do this Thank for you. you. Um, and if, if anybody wants to know more about boot camp, they can go to bodyheartbootcamp.com. Simple and easy. Yay! Yeah. But, and you'll see links on my site as well for that. So, Amber, thanks again. And uh, you're awesome. I love you. You're awesome. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you so much, Tracy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.